The stimulus package also includes help for North Carolina's black farmers. It's based on a century's worth of discrimination when it comes to loans and financial assistance. I spoke to one grower who hopes this corrects the wrongs and protects the future of black farmers. Being a farmer was nowhere on Davon Goodwin's radar. He was serving his country, deployed to both Iraq and Afghanistan. It was when he was struck by an IED, earning him the Purple Heart, that he started to think about another way to contribute. So farming to me is um, near and dear to my heart because it's not just a way to give back, but it's a way to keep, you know, the history and the lineage of, you know, people of color alive and well. After earning a degree in biology, Goodwin now grows grapes, blackberries, and mixed vegetables. He also runs Sand Hills Ag Innovation Center, a local food hub. He says the pandemic brought hardship, but also kept local farmers busy due to a shortage in fresh produce, partly due to food banks buying products, but also because people were cooking at home. Since people really couldn't go out, home delivery of fruits and vegetables became like the new it thing to do in farming. Because the fact of the farmers markets, some were able to open, some wasn't able to open. The grocery stores are obviously, some people did not want to venture to the grocery stores. But in growing that produce, advocates say black farmers have long faced discrimination by the Department of Agriculture and financial institutions. Nearly $5 billion of the latest federal stimulus plan will go to disadvantaged minority farmers. It includes loan forgiveness, grants, and educational programs. So I do think that the money will go to people who deserve to have it and who were maybe not able to have access to the capital when they needed it. And I think that will go a long way to making sure that the next generation of black farmers don't go to the same discriminatory practices that the last generation had. As this first generation farmer sows the seeds for the next. What a great picture there. Well, this portion of the bill does have its critics. Senator Lindsey Graham calls it reparations since there is no similar relief for white farmers.